uh, okay uh, welcome to the next video so as you must have seen from the thumbnail the purpose of this video is to show how to install the uh, software mega now as uh, mega is a software which is very widely used for uh, this bioinformatic many actually bioinformatic uh, programs like for example multiple sequence alignment can be done then uh, pair wise distance can be found out and then the different type of trees can be prepared phylogenetic trees uh, using this data evolutionary studies can be uh, done now there are multiple different softwares which are available right now on the internet which can do perform the same job and uh, so, so they can be broadly classified into three one in which you have to prepare the uh, you have to prepare the uh, programming or you have to write the program yourself and then the, uh, the software will do it like for example r uh, can be used uh, for these purposes r language and then there are some softwares which are uh, paid ones and then at least some of their features are paid and then there are some uh, this uh, softwares which are easy to you uh, free to use so mega is actually one of them uh, which is free to use and also this is very user friendly uh, so apart from them there are uh, other uh, uh, softwares as well like for example genius is there dna star is there uh, for uh, this uh, multiple sequence alignment you can directly go to castle w and muscle so all these different softwares are also there in different websites so uh, the main uh, why i personally prefer mega is that using mega you can do all of these different things or different uh, analysis you can do under one umbrella and uh, it is also very user friendly so uh, now let's move to the screen and let's see how we can do this how uh, is basically the downloading portion is very easy but let's just go through this okay so uh, let's open the browser google and we will type here mega that is the name of the software uh, so that is mega software now once you open to this you will see mega actually stands for molecular evolutionary genetic analysis genetics analysis so uh, that is the purpose of this particular software one of the purposes actually and mega the name comes from this particular uh, is basically the short form of this uh, molecular evolutionary genetics analysis now if you go through this you will see there are some tutorials some features and also documents and feedback and there are some for diagrams of different species for which actually you can do this and uh, now there are these are some of the uh, sequence analysis which you can do phylogeny interference model selection and etc and these are some of the statistical methods which are which ca you can perform using this particular software so now let's move to the download portion so here uh, this actually automatically selects which uh, based on of which operating system you have so uh, for example in my system this is windows so it, it has automatically system uh, automatically uh, yeah, selected windows but still if uh, in your machine it is showing something else then you can manually just click here and then you can choose mac ubuntu red hat or other linux whatever you have and then this this is a graphical interference graphical and common line so we'll just keep it graphical and now there are different versions of mega so that last one that is coming uh, very soon actually it is already pre already out but there are uh, still some uh, um, modifications is being done so uh, mega 11 is the most uh, updated version mega 11 alpha and before that there are mega x and mega 7 so all of these are available so mega x is available both for 32 bit and 64 bit machines same is mega 11 alpha but mega 7 is only available for 64 bit so let's choose mega x and, and then we will go for the download we'll click the download so once you click download there will be a very uh, so this is some of the information so you have to accept it and then uh, so uh, this is uh, basically this is a very uh, short uh, uh, information which you have to provide 
into the depository without uh, now the problem is that without uh, giving this information the download won't start so this is very basic that is the country from which you are uh, you originate then uh, what is the profession researcher instructor student professor other so uh, let me uh, choose uh, professor and then what is kind of institution so uh, you have to write is academic institution and then whether it is so i'll just select it this is university of college as mine so you have to select yourself now the thing is that this is just for their uh, a database so this is nothing that uh, you have to, you are uh, leaking out very important information so this is just for their reference who are using our softwares like that so and then you have to go for download okay so uh, this download had started so so uh, this uh, download is complete so now what we will be doing is we will simply show this in a folder so this is your file so you just click on it and uh, run then it will ask for permission and you have to give uh, some information and then it will start to okay so this is a uh, uh, please select the installation task so you uh, you have to find out or you have to basically click if you want to attach uh, uh, this files with this particular program or not so just keep it as it is uh, go for next install so it will uh, be installed in your machine so let's just wait a few seconds for this to get installed okay so now this is done launch mega okay so this is basically how the interface look like so uh, uh, now this is actually uh, the as you seen the uh, mega 10 or mega x version so uh, i actually prefer to use the mega 7 uh, because i find that more user friendly and almost uh, all the different uh, whatever amenities or whatever uh, whatever different algorithms or whatever i can do in here like for example the alignment and this modeling so there is hardly any difference between the uh, 7 and 10 version so the videos that i the sh i have uh, given you uh, uh, yeah, the links so they actually uh, i had uh, recorded them using mega 7 so that's why the interface might look a little bit different but other other than that uh, the procedure and how to do uh, the uh, multiple sequence alignment or how to uh, create the trees or any other studies it's uh, going to be exactly the same so uh, some again some uh, uh, will find this particular inter interface more user friendly but i somehow find uh, the other interface more user friendly so i'll just very briefly show you that ad as well so uh, that is this is how mega 7 looks like mm, so this is the interface uh, here so as you can see almost the things are exactly the same ah, only the interface is a little bit different so this is how the mega uh, is uh, downloaded and installed in your machine it's very easy to do and it's it takes hardly any time so uh, those of you who are interested uh, to work on mega so you can follow this video and you can use this so hopefully this will be helpful for you thank you